So the airless gun itself is attached by a section of hose. The section of airless hose has two aspects of it. One is that it has a pressure rating indicative to the capacity of the pump. So in this case, because it's a 6,000 PSI, we're looking at 7,600 PSI maximum burst pressure, primarily because if we use something short, uh, with a lower pressure rating, it would be dangerous. These hoses here are wire braid. You cannot use a rayon braid for this type of airless pump because they don't have the wall thickness or wall capacity to be able to harness all of that pressure within this short, small section or any section of hose. So where the hose is joined here for the applicator to use a whip end, what we call a whip end, which is we've gone from 3 8 to quarter inch. We well, normally keep the whip ends short and we always keep the whip end clean. Because it's near the operator, we have to make sure that there are no bra uh, abrasions, cuts, crimps, anything that can cause the pressure to escape from within that harnessed section of hose. So by keeping this clean, you ensure that you remain safe. So the safety aspect of this, the hoses always have a pressure rating on them. Make sure that the pressure rate is indicative to the pump. Make sure that these sections of joiners are clean and ensure that this section here up near the operator is clean as well. This section of the gun itself has what we call a high pressure swivel in it. The important thing to remember is by keeping this clean, you ensure that you do have a swivel section because it is wire braided hose. It is like uh, struggling with a, a hydraulic snake. So by maintaining cleanliness around the swivel, it'll ensure that the ease of operator, ease of application for the operator to be able to turn the pump, uh, turn the gun and manipulate the gun within the area that he's working.